Hi guys, welcome to pdf.co. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to search and replace text with bubble.io using pdf.co web API. Let's start. First, I'm going to show you the sample PDF file that we're going to use for this tutorial. Now, in the templates page, click new template. Next, type the name of your template. Also, create a new app that you're going to use for your template. Don't forget to tap the checkbox and click create template. Now, edit the template. Click start with a blank page and close the assistant. Now, add four input elements for the source file, search text, replace text, and async. After that, add a button to submit the request. Once you're done, it's time to add a plugin. Search and install API Connector plugin. Once the API Connector is installed, click on the Add Another API button. Then, set up the API Connector. Add an API name. After that, set a name for your API call. Then, change uses into action. Also, change the method into post. Don't forget to add the pdf.co editor web API endpoint. Now, let's add a header. Set the first key into accept and the value into application slash json. Add another header for your API key. Don't forget to add your own API key in the value. Let's proceed with the parameters. Set key into URL and add the link to your source file in the value. Add another parameter for search string and add the string that you want to be replaced in the value. Add another parameter for replace string and add the string that you want to add in the value. Add another parameter for async and set the value into false. Once you're done, uncheck all boxes in private and check the box in queries. After that, check the box for capture response headers and click initialize call. Once you see that there's a value for body URL, click save. We're now done with the plugins. Let's now set up the workflow. Let's add an event. Select elements and then an element is clicked. Let's add an action. Click plugins and choose the pdf.co search and replace text search and replace text plugin. After that, map the dynamic values. Map the input elements dynamic values with the PDF editor parameters. Let's add another action. Select the open an external website in the next step and choose the search and replace text body URL result in the destination field. Now that we're done with the workflow, let's preview our template. 
Let's go ahead and try to search and replace a text inside our sample PDF. Here's what the result looks like. That's all for this tutorial. We have a lot of tutorials on our YouTube channel. Just search for pdf.co. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. Thank you for watching.